Hey guys, Young One here from XUF Cinema, teaching you my first tutorial ever, and what I'm going to be teaching you today is how to key a character in Comet Arms. Okay, so first off, what what we're going to do is what you need to do actually is when you're frapsing, what I did was I frapsed this, which was in the shop. I dress my character up with a shotgun because I like the stance he's doing. Gives it kind of a sneaky look. So, wh whatever you, whatever stance you choose to pick or whatever he does, what you want to do is drag that file into Adobe After Effects. And by the way, this this tutorial will require Sony Vegas 8.9, whatever, or s and Adobe After Effects CS3 or CS4. And so, what you want to do is drag that fraps file onto the timeline, and it'll pop up here, and drag it back to wherever you want to start it. I'm going to start mines right here, so the mouse isn't in the way. And what you want to do next is get this rectangle tool, hotkey Q, and it's like cropping in Sony Vegas a little different but pretty much the same once you learn and crop what you crop what you favor and um, after you've done this you want to make sure the fast file is selected and click effect go down to keying and click color key now, seeing that the background is black and gray, mostly, you want to drag this, drag the dot, whatever, onto the black zone, click OK. And now, these three, you want to mess with all of them just to get it right. And as you see, if you drag it up and down, black will start to appear. And to solve this from getting onto your character, you want to use a little bit of edge thinning and edge feathering. Now it might take some time to play around with and if you get it just right all of the black will disappear or the background. Now what you want to do after this is go to layer, new, and solid. Uh, pick whatever color you favor. I prefer you pick black and make sure the solid is below the props file and drag select the fraps file and drag it to wherever you prefer you'll need it I'd say you need it in the middle for later for Sony Vegas and now when you preview it he's doing his little stance by himself and this really helps is because there's no green cross hair that you usually see in those cinematic movies people try to make in their montage it's just this one guy standing there, which makes it really nice. So now what you want to do is render it. So click File, Export. I I suggest QuickTime Movie. I always use it, and you can download QuickTime free at the at the Apple company or Apple.com, QuickTime.com, whatever works. Google search it and move this to best I really don't mess with anything else it seems to work perfectly without moving anything else and you click OK and you save it to wherever you want to desktop documents whatever you feel like it and when it's rendered mine is already done so I'll skip the rendering which may take a while for for however you for whatever you're doing and um, after that's done search for the render that you just rendered and click it drag it onto Sony Vegas and there it'll be doing its own little thing and now what you want to do is crop it if you want to crop it and what I want to do is make him bigger so more visible and close it still be doing the same thing, nothing different happening and shorten it 
and that's pretty much it this can go totally beyond what I'm doing this is just basics and I'm I can tell that people will take this farther than what this video is showing and to finish it off what I do is just add a text XUF cinema and what I use as a font is diffuse I love this font seems to be a popular one many of you know about it you can get this at dafont.com d-a-f-o-n-t dot com and the destroyed category has lots of fonts this is not the only one that appeals to me of course and um... just shorten everything out have your favorite and you have your final, pe your final piece and once again you could take this as far as you want it I'll probably be taking this as far farther than it is at the moment and try to get it more advanced or advanced as possible and this is really nice for if you're trying to create cinematic movies for montages or whatever you like to do machinimas whatever and yeah that's pretty much it thanks for watching hope this comes in handy